Good morning, Internet. So here is another outfit of the day featuring my new Chanel GST tote, which I'm loving. Today's outfit is a little bit more springtime inspired because I was in Toronto over the last week. You guys saw my outfits, I think, from that trip, and you could see that they were definitely still more of winter fashion fully necessary with the weather that was going on over there so I didn't have too much color going on other than a little bit of red and I want this week to be a little bit more colorful and fun so I pulled out this top that I purchased from J. Crew in the sale about a year ago and I've actually never worn today is my first day wearing it it just kind of got lost at the back of my closet um, I got a really good deal on it given that it's merino wool I think I paid about thirty dollars for it and it's just nice because it's pretty fitted I love the bright kind of clover color to it it really brightens up an outfit and it's just not too bulky as a knit to pair with a skirt so that's exactly what I did and my skirt is from White House Black Market then my scarf is also from J. Crew, but this was from the J. Crew outlet at Seattle Premium Outlets a while ago, and I love the key print. It's just really easy to pair with pretty much anything because I didn't have a green scarf that I could wear with this outfit. So I went with black and white, as I often do. And then I'm wearing my House of Harlow necklace, which I also haven't pulled out probably since last spring, and I just felt like wearing it. It's kind of a fun Egyptian kind of look. It's a little bit geometric, and it makes the outfit look modern and interesting in my opinion. So I just paired it with some simple earrings, which is what I usually do when I wear a statement necklace. And then there's my handbag, so you can see how the gold in the necklace kind of matches well with the gold hardware on the GST. And I've lightened it up a little bit so it's no longer as heavy as when I was in Toronto, so that's really nice. It feels a lot nicer. And these are from Geox, um, also purchased in the sale at a store in Pacific Center about a year ago around last spring. And they're just really great shoes to wear because they're easy to walk in, they don't give me blisters. Geox is definitely a brand to keep in mind for office wear because they've been making kind of more interesting shoes over the last few years that are, you know, still very much built with comfort in mind. So today is Tuesday and it's actually a beautiful sunny day so I thought I would wear a little bit more of a fun and feminine dress. So this is one of my couple of DVF wrap dresses so by Diane von Furstenberg. I absolutely love her designs. They're just very easy and comfortable and classic. So this wrap dress has ribbon print all over it and it's kind of a mauve -y color with some pink and a little bit of very like dark red thrown in so it's kind of an interesting color palette that it introduces but it's just it's so easy and classic I mean mostly it's just a really neutral dress so with it I paired some pearls and some really little dangly pearl earrings that are just delicate and will compete with the print um, and then if you wear DVF make sure that your collar is untucked because I've completely done that before you just slip it on in the morning you can't even feel the collar because the fabric is so soft and then you just walk around all day with like one pit, one side of it tucked in and the other not which is not good um, so with it of course I'm carrying my Chanel GST as always right now because it is my new best friend and then for shoes Todd's little loafer pumps so they have a silver buckle at the front and they're a taupey beige that I felt like went really well with the print um, and I'm going to be wearing a beige Burberry trench coat over this dress Internet. So today is Wednesday, another beautiful sunny day and starting to warm up a little bit. So I am wearing a shirt that I would feel comfortable wearing without a jacket, although I do keep a black blazer in my office in case I do end up having a meeting. So right now that jacket is my helmet laying long blazer that you guys saw in my Outfits in Toronto video. So the shirt that I'm wearing that I love, that I think is just fun to show off in that way without a jacket, is my M. Missoni top and it has shades of nude purple green black and pink and I just think it's very spring like and fun it feels light on the skin it doesn't feel sticky like a lot of shirts and blouses can so I really enjoy wearing it and I kind of took inspiration from my own outfit on Monday I believe and I rewore my House of Harlow necklace because I just felt like it went so well with the pattern and with that I'm just wearing some little gold knot earrings that are just very simple again 
my Chanel GST right here. And then I'm wearing some black pants. These are from Nordstrom Rack and I still need to defuzz myself before I head out because I do have some cap fur on them. Um, but they are very comfortable and so far they've been wearing really well. So if you are looking for a pair of cheap trousers, I recommend going to maybe a Saks Off Fifth or Nordstrom Rack because they do have awesome separates like that. And then for shoes, I thought it would be fun to pair these Kate Spade heels with my Chanel bag because they're actually a stingray effect so in the sun they will catch the light and just shimmer a little bit and I feel like it goes really well with the caviar leather of my bag. So today is a glasses kind of day. My eyes are just really sore from a late night yesterday. So I put on my Dior glasses, my big ones, and then I just kind of put the outfit together around them because I wanted to do something that was still going to be a little bit funky and young, but still office appropriate, obviously, as always. Um, so I'm wearing a blazer that's really old. It's from Holt Renfrew, the department store. I don't even know if they have their own line anymore, but they used to. And so it's kind of a cropped black blazer with white piping and it's just kind of really fitted. So it looks really nice on top of a dress. So I'm wearing this one. I haven't worn it in so long. So that's kind of fun to reintroduce a piece I haven't worn for a while. Then I'm wearing my black pearl jewelry and then underneath the blazer I'm wearing a dress from Banana Republic that I purchased in their sale in Hawaii way back in December. It's actually quite a fun dress because it's reversible back to front so the back of it has a higher neckline than the front but because I wanted to wear some jewelry and have that sort of be somewhat showcased then I wore it with the low side at the front and you can see it's not very low cut just a little bit nothing crazy. To continue that kind of mod vibe I'm wearing some black Tights, and these are by the Morona line from Target. They're still great. I still love them. And then I have my Tory Burch wedges on. I believe these are called the Selma. They're the higher ones with the gold buckle, which go really nicely with my handbag. Of course, still carrying the same one. Happy Friday. So here is my casual Friday outfit. If you guys do have a more casual workplace, then this outfit is for you. So I'm wearing my new blazer from Zara. It's a light blue faux denim, basically. So it's actually a rayon blend that is super soft and not wrinkly, and it makes it look a little bit dressier, too, just the way it lays, the feel of the fabric brings this blazer basically into office appropriate territory. It's also very comfortable. I'm really impressed by the fact that I crumpled it into my suitcase coming back from Toronto and it isn't wrinkly at all. It has little gunmetal buttons as well which match really easily to different outfits. I'll be wearing the scarf from Miss Sony that has different prints on either side and it basically will tie the whole outfit together because it has beige, light blue, dark blue, and even a little bit of gold and silver in it. So I love this Missoni scarf. It was purchased at the Saks Off Fifth Rack store. Then of course I'm carrying my Chanel GST. I'm wearing a little old tank top from Gap underneath this fun little girly shell from Banana Republic. And it's just really roughly and girly and it's got lace going on and it's a really pretty cream color. And owning little tops like this is really a godsend if you're going to be going out after work um, because you can just layer a tank top underneath it to make sure that it's office appropriate and then you have this kind of fun accent to your outfit. So of course, being casual Friday and jeans day, I'm wearing some jeans. These are from Paige and they're skinny skylines so they're pretty skinny cut in a dark wash but not too tight. Um, they're very comfortable and then I have some shoes from Todd's that are probably blending into my carpet but you guys saw these earlier this week so they are just a carryover from that because they are really comfy to wear all day. Um, so that's pretty much it for this particular outfit. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. If you did and you would like to see more, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!